Caitlin Woods. I am part of Princess One. I've been cooking for five years and I'm in the <laughs> age. <laughs> Y'all can't laugh at me. All right, do I have to start over? No, keep going. All right. He's recording the whole thing. He's just going to clean it up and make it. No, he's going to put whatever he wants in there. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what age group am I in? Wait, okay. I'm in the age group 11 and up, right? Y'all got to tell me this stuff. All right, I'm in the age group 11 to 15. And who else is on your team? Um, Janaya, which is Princess 2. Okay. And what are you cooking? Um, we're cooking steak and chicken this year. Okay. Well, every year. How do you year. cook your steak and chicken? Um, it's a secret. It's a secret. All right. What can you say about how you cook your steak? Um, we cook it good. Hi, um, I'm at Kids Q, and I'm Mary, and my team name is Mary is Smokin', and I'm just getting ready to put my sauce into the sauce um, containers for the sauce competition. Um, my teammates are my dad and my sister, Sophia, who <laughs> um, helps me a lot. Um, I've been cooking since I was five with my dad, or like small, and he really inspires me to like keep on cooking because he always like if something goes wrong he always he um like stresses about it but he keeps on doing it again if he fails so. Um, I'm in the category 10 and under, and yeah. And, and what meats are you cooking? What? What meats are you cooking? Oh, I'm cooking chicken and steak. Okay, now what are you, what are you cooking for later today? I'm cooking ribs, brisket, um, well, like, pork and chicken for a group that we're in in the backyard and beans and coleslaw. Hi, I'm Michael Frostery and I'm from Smoke on the Lakes. Right now I'm cooking steak and chicken and my category group is uh, 10 and older and this, third, and this is my third year of cooking for the Kids Q competition. Do you cook at home too? Or? Yeah, for, I sometimes cook around with my dad if he's off from work. And what do you all cook at home? Uh, pretty much the same thing mostly. It's just mostly steak and chicken. What secrets can you share with your for your steak and chicken? I don't know. Me and my dad, we just mix around most of our ingredients, see if we can come up with a good rub to use. For it tastes good to you? Yeah. It tastes good. My hands and my palate. I accept my duty to be an 18th annual or 18th annual Lake City uh, Tiger Town. Lakeland Pig Fest Certified Barbecue Judge. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Solid truth. Really? Justice. Justice. Excellence in barbecue. Excellence in barbecue. And the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Okay, gang, I need you back in your seats, ready to start enjoying some good barbecue. Thank you. Good Enjoy job. your barbecue. Okay. Quarter after 12. That's 12:15. Number one was a little dry and not very, not as flavorful as, as could be. Two was tender and moist. Three was my favorite. It uh, was very tasty and tender and juicy. Four, number four, had, uh, was a little spicier, and, uh, but it was also very tender. And also number five was very good. I agree with Judge One. <laughs> number one was overcooked, and it wasn't as tender as some of the others. But overall, the chicken, I thought, was very good. Uh, number two is flavorful and, and, and moist, uh, had a little more sauce than I normally prefer. Number three was a great piece of chicken, beautiful, uh, very tender, very moist, and very flavorful. 
Uh, number four was very moist, but the, the skin, I couldn't bite through it, so... Uh, and then number five was outstanding. The, uh, the chicken was moist and flavorful and extraordinarily tender. So I agree. Number three and number five were definitely the top. And uh, number four, we could not bite, bite through the skim. So it's overall, very good chicken. I couldn't mind till they're really strong, but I feel like I'm warm and they look like I'm warm. Yeah. I've never timed one in my See? life. <laughs> well, it's like how I cook, I, you I don't can't. time shit. You can't if, you, if, you're, it. if you're expecting me to poke on it, it's going to be medium. Get you a thermal can. can. No, O'Neal! That's how I do. Thermal is better than trying to time it. Yeah. yeah. It says real tender. Huh? They Good. look about the same size. I'm gonna yeah, put that's them on the bottom. I'm gonna put right. these, the best ones, on the top. Go ahead and do it. That one's on the top. On the mm, get it. Don, you like that tender meat, huh? <laughs> 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 when it's soft. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no meat. We all re related, so. It's barbecue. <laughs> there is no right. wrong phrase in barbecue. Okay. There you go. Just right. I'll get that. I, uh, I need this a one right here. This ain't this one we said we're gonna go right here. These right here, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna spin it around there. Watch that. Five, we're right here in the three, so we got ten minutes. All right. Take your time. Windows open. Yep. Well, Sheen, Sheen put the clothes sign on you. Still got time to get in. It All just right. opened, so you're mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. and look. Um, you see at the very bottom of that, and you got something hanging, a little Where? thing. That last one on the end. Under. Yeah, right so, there. No, 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 on the front. One was a little tough, two was wonderful, three was undercooked, four was fair, and five was a good one. I thought the uh, first three entries all had uh, pleasant, pleasant flavor, but uh, they all suffered from problems with tenderness. Uh, four and five I thought were exceptional. Uh, they, they both had uh, excellent taste and good tenderness. As we all know, there's no bad barbecue, but number four and number five were excellent. We got some get you right some more. Take your time, bro. We got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just turn around. I got you. I got you. I come on up this. I don't give a fuck what the bottom of it looks like. Okay. Alright, watch the front end of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the next one I told you I got one of these at the house. Uh, so that. we'll be all right. We won't worry about the things in there. That looks good. You say you're going to line some across the front? Mm -hmm. Laying down style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, I appreciate good. it. Wait, no need to Take your time. Take your time, Passer. Preach, Passer. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid <as> shit, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a church and sit in the back and I'm gonna do that just for the money. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, we need one more. No, we good, man. We got plenty of it. I just wanna line it up in Oh, there. it doesn't, okay. All yeah, right. you ain't gotta be in a certain amount. Okay, as long as it's. Yeah. I really like the uh, taste and the texture of number three. It was moist and done just right. Uh, number one was a little dry to me. Uh, as was number uh, four. Uh, and my best choices would be between uh, five and three. Yeah, number one was overdone. Number two just didn't have much taste. Number three and five was good. Number four, they put the mustard on, but I don't know why. I agree with her. This one was a little mushy and overdone. This one was my favorite, had a little spice and kick to it. I didn't really think the mustard flavor did anything to the, the actual meat itself, and this one right here was a little dry as well. 
Pretty much agree with everyone. I had number one, overcooked and dry. Number five was by far my favorite. I concur with all of them. Three were also pretty good, uh, but number five was the one I didn't I liked the least. Okay. I too agree. Number five was the best. Had a good smoky flavor. It was tender, moist. Number two had a unique flavor to it, uh, but the rest were just about average. I thought four was absolutely the best of, of all of them. Okay. I chose, chose number five as my favorite. Um, there was one that visually I, I, I was pretty bad in the box and the taste was just as bad too. <laughs> Okay, number, f number five was what brisket should taste like. It was nice and tender and, and flavorful. Number four was a mess. It was hard. It was tough. Uh, it looked bad, and uh, it wasn't even worth anything. Number two uh, <clears throat> didn't look very appealing to me in the box. It was just a chopped up kind of a mess. But uh, one and three looked good in the box. <laughs> <laughs> 